All right. Good morning, children. Today, we shall be discussing singular and plural verbs. All right. In this video, we will first try to distinguish how is a singular verb used, what is a singular verb, and what is a plural verb. Before even using the terminology singular and plural, let's try and understand what does singular mean. Singular means one. Only one. All right. And plural means more than one. It can be two, it can be three, it can be four, it can be any number. It can be infinite as we say in mathematics. Right. So plural is more than one and singular is one. So you must have seen that in certain places people say he jumps or they jump. So you might get confused where to use an S with a jump and where not to use an S. Now this lesson in the first part would help us to distinguish where to use an S and where not to use an S. So, you know, when we talk about a singular person, we always say that the verb, the action word over there, will end in an S. So, for example, if I say Niyati eats her food. Singular Niyati eats her food. So, she eats. Now, plural verb. Niyati and Prameti play in the garden. Not plays. Play in the garden. Play without an S. Just remember this. All right. So I have done some note taking for you so that it becomes clearer to you. So look at this. <clears throat> of course, we said it ends in an S. So all your verbs with likes. See, there is an S here. Likes, talks, walks, eats, jumps, reads, any other verb that you take would end in an S, so it's a singular verb. Where is it used? With he, with she, with it, with any singular noun, any singular noun, any singular noun. So for example, if I take an example and I say Ram likes what? Apples. So one Ram, he likes apples. All right? I cannot say Ram like apples. If I say Ram like apples, ah, then this is a serious grammatical error and the sentence would be wrong. So you cannot say Ram like apples. You always have to say Ram likes apples. He eats, she sleeps, it bites. All right. The boy reads. So remember, all of them are ending <coughs> in an S. All right. There's no singular sentence which does not end in an S over here. So this is something which you have to be very, very, very careful about. Now, let's come to your plural verb. Plural verb means more than one. So it does not end in an S. No S. Eat, sleep, wake, like, walk. Now see, where is it used? It's used with I. So I wake, not I wakes. I wake early. Okay. You or all of you, you eat cakes. They read. Ram and Sita. What? Go. Not goes. 
Ram and Sita go to the market. But only Ram, he goes. Remember this, okay? Similarly, if any other plural noun is there, the boys jump, not jumps. So the boys jump. So remember, with a plural verb, you do not use an S. Alright? I hope this is clear to you. Let's take a little pause and you revise. Okay? The concept. Alright children, welcome back. Now, let's look at this. I'm going to talk about how to use verbs with collective nouns. Now, <clears throat> if you don't remember what are collective nouns, let me tell you once again, collective nouns are those nouns which are used for alike objects in a group, homogeneous group of objects as we say, right, in complicated grammatical definitions, but alike objects in a group. For example, a dash of lions, pride of lions, right? Now, the problem that arises is whether I should be using a singular verb or a plural verb to describe a collective noun. Grammarians across two sides of the world, in America and in Britain, differ on this. All right. Americans are quite conventional about it and they say you will use only a singular verb. Whereas in Britain, it depends upon the context. If I am referring to everybody together, I will use a singular. If I am referring to the members of a collective noun, then I will use a plural verb. So I have written down some sentences to help you out. Let's look at those sentences and hope things will be clearer from that. The audience, audience you know, spectators, right? was or were applauding that's very interesting you can say the audience was applauding also and you can say the audience were applauding also but the sense is different when i say the audience was applauding it means as a whole group you know they were applauding they were cheering up they were clapping and if i say the audience were applauding it means the members of the audience were applauding so it depends upon how you want to put it across. So both of them are correct over here. This is correct. This is correct. Okay. But if you go to America, you'll have to say the audience was applauding. There's no other way. India has or have won the cup. Hmm, interesting one. Now, when India won the World Cup in 2011, the last one, the latest World Cup that they won, one of the newspapers said, India has won the cup and the other newspaper said India have won the cup. Both were correct. Let me tell you. Why? Because when one says India has won the cup, they are saying the Indian team. So if they are saying India has, they are saying the Indian, Indian team has won the cup. And India have won the cup means members or players or players of the Indian team have won the cup. Both are correct. Alright? So don't get confused. But focus on these things. The family was here. Or the family were here. Interesting again. The family was here means as a collective unit the family was here. And the family were here means members of the family. All the members, some members, any members, any number. They were here, but you are saying my family members were here. So a better way to write this sentence was, would be my family members were here or the family was here. Or my family was here. Okay. So my family was here. My family were here. Either ways, it's correct. So these three are very typical sentences where both the verbs can come depending upon the sense. I hope it is clear to you. More reading would help you in overcoming such obstacles. Now. In this case, the committee, you cannot say has, 
been in disagreement because as a collective unit they are not disagreeing with each other who is in disagreement who is fighting where is the they are not agreeing so the members so the committee have h a v e have plural verb the members of the committee have been in disagreement so here it means the members because they are fighting with each other otherwise you could have said the committee has passed a decision or the committee have passed a decision or would have been correct but in this case when there is in fighting there is no unity there is a sense of diversity so you have to use the plural verb okay and look at the spelling of the word committee don't forget this double m double t double e typical word the company has got the award yes here you will not say the company have got the award because it's not the members of the company that have got the award it is the company as a whole it was just the best company so the company has got the award the film has got the award not the film have hmm? he is one of those people who like or likes walking now this is a very typical sentence and very you know often it is mistaken even by the adults he is one of these people who like or likes walking yes of course we are talking about one person but this who what is it agreeing with it's agreeing with people which kind of people people is plural so it will be like not likes he is one of those people people so read the sentence from here people who like walking people who like walking and he is one of them so here the subject of course is he but this who is relating to people so this is a relative pronoun i'm using the terminology so this is a relative pronoun which relates this verb to people so he is one of those people who like walking not likes please remember this one of the boys is or are missing now how many boys are missing only one right so one of the boys is missing not are missing okay so one of the boys is missing not are and people who like walking but he is one of those right but we are not saying that he is one of those who likes walking he is one of those people who like walking because people who like walking and amongst them he is one see there are many people who like walking and this chap is one of them right so people who like walking and he is one of them and one of the boys is missing he is missing probably so one of them is missing so this is how verbs with collective nouns function you will have to have a lot of practice to get them right you will have to get into good reading of english literature and english books english stories you will have to speak good english right that's where you get the collective nouns and these verbs correct so enjoy and read a lot thank you